Hey everybody, welcome to a VG Leviathan video. Today I'd like to show you how you can do some safe rendering if you're not using a computer with a graphics card. The computer that I'm busy using for this project is a Core i5 with 12 gig RAM, no GPU. So what we're going to be doing is setting up our render so that we can stop it and carry on with it at a later stage. So let's have a look at how to do that. First thing you want to do is make sure you're going over to Output Properties on the right hand side by little icons. Then we want to go to our folder over here and select where we're going to save our frames because we're not going to be rendering out one solid video. We're going to be rendering out a series of images which we will then turn into a video. So let's do that. I've already got my little folder over here for frames, so I'm just going to select that. You can create a new folder and do that. The second thing that we want to do is make sure that this override option is unticked. This is what is essentially allowing you to pause and continue. If it is ticked, it'll start all the way from frame one again and start the whole rendering process over. But because this is unticked, it will carry on from the last frame where you stopped. Then you want to select the file format that you want. In my case, I'm just putting them into PNG. And then that's pretty much it. You're ready to render out and be able to stop whenever you want. For example, we can go over to render, render animation. And let's say right now you've rendered maybe up to frame 22 and your computer is starting to get a little bit warm. All that you have to do is go over here to the X stop the render and then when your computer's cooled down or you've done whatever you want it to you can go and you can just render again and it will carry on from where you left off so what do we do now so let's say we've got all of our frames what do we do the next part is actually quite simple we're going to go over to file and we're going to create a new file but we're going to go over to video editing and then you can save this if you want. Um, I'm just going to hit save. And I've already got my little project over here. So we can just save it as GlowBlend and save blend file. So then we can open our new file. And go to video editing. And this is our video editor, which we're going to use to compile our video. So the next step is quite easy and it's very quick. You go to add and then we're going to go add image sequence. So I've already rendered out the frames for our project. So we can go over to my C drive, blending and water glow frames. So here I have all of them. Very important, if you're doing this for some other projects, make sure that all your numbers are following each other correctly. 0001, 0002 and they need to follow each other in the correct order. Otherwise, it could be disastrous. So you can just tap A to select all and add image sequence. The next thing you wanna do is make sure that your frame rate is at 24 frames per second because that is what we rendered it out at. And now you're pretty much ready to go. So you can press play on that and it'll take you through a few of the steps. Next thing I want to do is our start and end. Because we've only got 50 frames, we want to make our end 50. And that's it. So now it will only render out these images, as you can see. It'll just keep going over and over and over again. So what do we do now? It's exactly the same as when you've created a project. We go over to render and we render our animation. And this will send it to wherever you've set your, your folder. So while that's rendering, we can just have a look here. For example, this is going to send it to the temp. So you want to set it to the folder that you want it. I'm quite happy with it going to the temporary folder, but you can set that to anything you want. And when that's done, you will have your video ready to play. So I hope that was helpful. And please hit the like button and the subscribe button so that you can keep up to date with all of our tutorials. 
Have a great day. Goodbye.